evening, good afternoon. Hi folks, how are you? This is Joyce, Joyce All Knowing Tabro, back with another video. It's another week. I usually start on Sundays, Sunday through Wednesday. Um, this is going to be a good week. Uh, first of all, tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern, finally the Psychic Squares drops. It's going to be on the Tarot Love community. Um, it's in my community board. There's a link to it up there as well. And um, there's a picture of a Rubik's Cube, and there's pictures of the different psychics, some of them that are going to be there. So um, please check that out. Uh, they're also doing a scholarship uh, as well, so they're hoping maybe they can get a donation or two. The scholarship is fantastic. It's a scholarship for you so that you're able to, <clears throat> excuse me, take a class with one of us readers or get an uh, a card reading or intuitive reading whatever their skills and crafts are so um that's a fantastic opportunity because i know that i know this personally because i get a lot of mail and people want to take classes or people want readings and you know sometimes they you know they have to be conscientious of their budget and it doesn't happen and this way you can use it on any of us so that is fantastic but that is tonight uh psychic squares it's on the tarot love community go in my community post it's up there if you go up to the top of my youtube screen you'll see like um channel and about and videos and community and and that type of thing there's a lot of different words that you can click on and come click on community and you will see it there um, well, you won't see the video there you'll see the link to see the video I'm excited to see how it went. We had so much fun doing that. We had we had a lot of laughs and a lot of giggles. So today, oh, I wanted to show you this in case you guys are interested. We've got this merch available. This is Bear, by the way. I talk about Bear, my German Shepherd, all the time. That's her. And then this is the backside. And I just love, this is just a fabulous picture of her. Um, fantastic. She'll be 3 December 28th, which is my sister's birthday. Isn't that something? Um, but if you're interested, we do have that in the merch. Uh, another thing, we do have the Advanced Tarot coming up. It won't start until September 12th, I think it is. Whatever that, it's either the 11th or the 12th. But anyways, um, if you're interested in getting information, that's all you need to do is to email me. My email will be down below in the description box. Put a yes in the body of your email and we'll get you some information out there. I'm winding up my um, beginning to row. Wow. These people can read some tarot. I'm telling you, we got a chance. Um, the class is, Mon this particular class is Monday and Wednesday. And then I have a Saturday. I make available with them for an hour just to tutor them. And um, so they got to do readings. And um, yeah, they're fantastic. And the way we break it down is that you know those cards. Now we've got to take it to another level. And that'll be for the advanced tarot. So that will start September 11th, and that will go six weeks, one day a week, plus a Saturday, extra help questions, practice readings, all of that. Um, let's talk about this. So you remember uh, Margaret Taylor Green, Matt Gates, and I wrote his name down, Ralph Norman. They were part of the GOP that was going to sue Nancy Pelosi because she said that they had to wear masks, and they were actually fined a dollar amount, I think, $500, $500, they were fine, and they were going to sue her, and yada, 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 Lord have mercy, Jesus, turn around, uh, Ralph Norman, one of the people that was at that presentation out there with uh, Getz and MTG, has COVID, yeah, didn't want to wear a mask, was offended and, and everything else that um, he had to pay a fine because he didn't want to fo uh, follow uh, congressional rules. But um, yeah, too bad for him. Uh, you know, I don't wish health, ill health, death, anything on anybody, but karma is a mother out here. You guys do not even understand how energy is coming in to us, not just because it's Lions, uh, it's a Lions Gate portal day, not just because of Cirrus putting energy down on the sun, the sun hitting the earth, and then we are able to open up that portal opens up today and you can manifest its new moon and Leo. New moons are for creating new, not closing out the old. That's a full moon. This is a great day to manifest. Um, but yeah, the point being, 
energy is going so fast. The days of the weeks fly by. The day flies. I can't believe it. I wake up at such and such time. It's already this time where the sun is going down. Things are going very fast. And so take this opportunity to create what you want to see. This day is like planting the seeds, right? You're planting the seeds that what you want to see but continue to grow for yourself on and on. By the way, don't forget my uh, podcast. I do that on Mondays and Wednesdays. Mondays, we talk about whatever. And sometimes my husband is there as well. And then Wednesdays, we do readings for you. We do answer a question. Last announcement, and then we can get on to something. Um, I got such a great response of Andrea Lilac uh, Lantern Tarot coming on with me. Um, we're going to do it again on Tuesday. So Tuesday is going to be kind of weird. In the uh, in the about uh, five o'clock, myself and Scott, we're going to be over at Scott's channel, Scott Allen Spiritual Essence. You can see me there and you can see Scott there. We're going to work together. And then I'm coming back over and I will be with Andrea and that will be at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time. I absolutely loved her. If you guys did not see that energy on that camera, it was absolutely fantastic. We just like a juju. Myself, her, and Linda, I don't know what it is. Sometimes the chemistry in people is just magical because she and I have never worked before. She had contacted me in the past to work together and it just didn't happen for whatever reasons. But yeah, we will be working again Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So please come by and check that out. So I am using a different set of cards today. This is called the Tarot Illuminati. Now, Illuminati does not imply of that supposed all-powerful group of men, white men who are running the world behind the scenes. That's not that. Illuminati in the sense of illumination, illumination. It's made in the WS, I mean, WRS way, which is uh, Rider, I mean, Rider Waite way, uh, RWS, Rider Waite Smith, I should say, um, way. And so with that being the case, it's similar to the regular uh, Rider Waite deck, but the pictures are just unbelievable. Oops, let me turn this over. Look how beautiful and rich these examples of these pictures are. Aren't this beautiful? They're fantastic. So today, because it's August, I'm going to take another look and see what is happening around. So I'm stripping them to begin with just to kind of mix them in. What's going to happen with this insurrection? First, they said it was August 13th. Well, actually, if we go back, it was going to be July and then it's going to be in March and then in April, then in June. And now we are here in August. It was supposed to be August 13th, but now they're saying August 21st. Now, August 21st is interesting because um, I think August 13th, by the way, was National Kool-Aid Day. So that would have been a whole joke. But August 21st is uh, Trump is doing a rally in Alabama and they are believing Trumpsters. Now, I'm gone from calling them Trumpsters to really psychotic individuals, allegedly. That's my opinion. But anyways... They believe that on that day is the day they're basically going to crown him and uh, reinstall him. Now, I don't know how, what, why, because if if he, if he Biden is gone, then Kamala. Kamala's gone, then we got Nancy Pelosi. So, not sure how they're going to do that. But anyways, we're going to just take a quick look and see what's going to happen August 21st. And oh, don't let me get off of here. Without telling you, did you see that picture? I'm going to make that my thumbnail picture of uh, with Biden with that tan suit. It was the same, It was similar to the suit that uh, Barack Obama wore. Remember he wore that tan suit and, oh, my God, the media and the GOP, they were all so appalled. You know, even though they on the side touching teenagers and uh, stealing money and not caring about their constituents, allegedly. Um, but they're worried about Obama's tan suit. And here comes Biden walking in. I'm like, yes, baby. Rub it in their face. Yes, absolutely. So anyways, let me take a quick look at this. I'm going to focus on what's happening on August 21st. The Trumpsters.
<laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously. So here we have, um, I said, what's happening on August 21st? Okay, so they are plotting and planning. This is the alchemist, which is like the magician. They feel like they're ready. Okay, we are ready. We're going to do it this time. We've got everything we need. We've got the money to get there. We got the love for each other and our Trumpsters and Trump. We got the energy and we're super smart on things. And so we're going to go behind this. We're going to love him forever. We have infinity over there, over that red right there. We're going to love him forever, but they are not as smart as they think they are. Okay. They don't know as much as they think we are. And it doesn't take a reading for me to tell you that they're studying and looking up laws and, uh, anything that's going to help them, any kind of legal precedence that's going to allow this to happen. They really are trying to do their research in order to make this happen. And they're excited. Some of them are with the four of wands. They think that, uh, you know, it's going to Trump's reign will be reestablished. Uh, we will run this country again. Uh, the South will rise, <laughs> even though a lot of them are not from the South. But that's why they carry that Confederate flag. Not really knowing the re uh, reason for it. That's actually a battle flag. That's not the Confederate flag. But that's just a side note. Um, they don't care about side notes or information. Yeah, so we've got that aspect of it. Some of them are very uh, happy. They're like, yeah, this is like a, like this is a big event, will be a big event for them. This would be something that would be a big event, something that they would celebrate and have glory in and honor and praise each other and honor and praise Trump. The reality is, it's the high priestess that says that actually, isn't she beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. The high priestess tells us that inside they know better. They know better. They know this is not going to happen. This is any reason to get together to party, to get together and not, you know, follow COVID uh, regulations or mandates or masks. This is what this is about. This is not about coming together at all. A lot of them, we have the king of cup in reverse. They're not in charge of anything. And that's what they're feeling. Like they're not in charge of anything. Then that's the reality. A lot of them are working. A lot of them don't have money. A lot of them have uh, serious addictions to a lot of things. And so they're not able to really go within and say, is this really going to happen? Am I really feeling this? Is, am I tapping into my to intu intuition? It is because they are um, in denial, uh, delusion. Um, they're not in touch with their self. They're so outside of themselves. A lot of times when you have addictive things, alcohol, uh, any of those opioids, street drugs, you're outside of yourself. You're not in touch with reality. And they absolutely are not in touch with their, their reality of it. And they have nine of swords in reverse. Nine of swords in reverse is this Gemini energy. Um, and it's in reverse. So if she's upright, she could save herself by going to sleep and releasing these worries and anxieties and fears. This way, there's no, there's no getting away from all of that in your mind. You've overthought this process. You looked at what happened with some of your fellow comrades, I will call them. And you are talking all this talk. You're talking all this liquor talk. You're talking about, oh my goodness. You're talking about all these plans, okay? All these plans we're going to make, right? We're going to make all these great plans. We're going to make this stuff happen. We're going to celebrate. We're going to party and we're going to eat and we're going to barbecue and we're going to do all that hillbilly kind of stuff. And then yet you're doing that under the influence of things that are making you delusional, delusional. So right now, this is just strictly, I'm trying to get it so you can see. This is a conversation. This is not in reality. You got that King of Cup in verse, and we all have had people in our family who overindulge in alcohol, too many glasses of wine, too many bourbons, or whatever it is you drink, margaritas, or who uh, are smoking marijuana. Marijuana is really not, well, I'm going to leave that out, but they're, they're doing things that are illicit. 
And we have a tendency to sit back and listen. And if we are drinking or partying with them, we're going to be in agreement of all this stuff. We're going to we're going to go to Hawaii and we're going to have a great time and yada, yada. And then it doesn't happen because then we sober up. We come to our sober self and we realize, oh, I don't have the money. I don't have the resources. I'm not going to be able to do that. So that's what I'm seeing, first of all. So I just want to see plain and simple insurrection on August 21st. Insurrection. A, re a re crowning of the king, August 21st. Mm -mm. They got the Eight of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Swords this way, it says that you're overthinking, you're worried to take a step, you don't know what your next move should be, but you can escape out of that. We see that they're behind her. These pictures are so beautiful. There's water there. Water speaks of uh, calmness and peace and emotions and salve, you know, like salve that you put on that's healing. And then there's help up there as well in the big mansion. And so she can walk out of this. She's not as stuck as she thinks. She just needs to disconnect and she will. This way, you guys, you're so stuck, stuck in your ways, stuck in your false beliefs. You are lying to each other. You're lying to yourself. You can't go any further. There will be no way in, in the world that the capital is not deeply secured at this point and from time is moving forward in case this should ever this terrorist attack should ever happen again um no it's not going to happen you guys will not even make a move you can't even decide which way to go they got the judgment card but it's in reverse judgment says that i need to look at myself and i need to see you know have this awakening and see how i have lived my life in the past that i'm not doing that anymore i'm forgiving myself i'm releasing negative energies i'm healing inner trauma but this way you don't see yourself remember i told you about all that uh what they call it imbibing all that drinking all that drug and whatever they're doing allegedly but um you don't have any clarity there's no clarity. That's my word. And ultimately, the truth will come out on you guys, on what you were trying to do or attempting to do, that it didn't happen for you. There'll be no victory for you, but it'll be a victory for us that you guys will, little by little, more and more, will hear about your being arrested and going into nothing. Um, that's all I want to do today. I just want to start the week off with you guys. I miss you guys. I, I take those days off so I can recharge and so I can teach, but I miss you when I'm not around you. And so I miss you guys a lot. And I love that you guys are, I'm going to tell you something. You guys are unbelievable. You are the best subscribers everywhere. I promise you the love that you give me is unbelievable, unbelievable. And it's so positive. It's so encouraging. It's so uplifting. And just like you need me to be a part of your life, I need you to be a part of my life as well. I love you guys with all my heart. I try to keep it real with you guys. I try to just be my natural self. What you see on camera is what you get off camera. And um, I just love you guys. And listen, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, check out the um, Psychic Squares. That'll be at 6 p.m. today, Eastern time. There's a link in my community board. Andrea, Lilac Lantern, Tarot, and I will be on this channel at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, Eastern Time. I will be with Scott Allen, Spiritual Essence, at 5.30 on his channel, and that'll be the Eastern Time. And don't forget the Advanced Tarot class. You don't want to miss it. You want to be able to uplift your game, get your game going. You want to really have some in-depth knowledge on what these cards really mean for you and for others. Guys, I love you and have a great day. Bye now.